Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for November 5th, 2019. So yesterday was kind of a frustrating day, wasn't it? We got that gap up open. Um, we ended up with the pop and drop, as I kind of um, pointed out was a possibility, not, not a guarantee, but a possibility yesterday. And that pop and drop um, was really, really frustrating because really what it ended up doing more than anything is going nowhere. We gapped up yesterday and then we just kind of drifted sideways the entire day in here. We had some weird price activity um, here overnight, but just kind of drifted sideways and then all of a sudden um, we're going to gap up again this morning it looks like we're we're going to find some inspiration here to move even higher in the market this morning setting new records um, as we go so what's going on here well there's some high hopes um overnight apparently with the trade deal and you know bullishness kind of um Bullishness like this kind of pushes more bullishness. So for example, we had that great bullish day, we set new records and then Asian markets kind of followed through and they got bullish and so um, they went up and consequently that's translated um, into more bullishness this morning because European stocks are higher um, as a result and we're now seeing Dow futures and, and, um, and U.S. futures in, in total um, looking for um, another gap up open, another bullish open. So what we have to do as traders is we have to make sure to continue to maintain our composure here because I know it's it's very very easy to feel that fear of missing out and the only thing we want to do is just chase in hurry up and buy something but you can see yesterday that proved to not be a a great thing to do because we never followed through yesterday we never had that buying follow through this morning we could gap up and um, you know do exactly the same thing or worse we gap up and find profit takers start pushing in and we really do get some selling so what we want to do like always is we want to focus on that price action and we want to wait for that open to occur and then we want to watch for some actual follow-through so for example yesterday we we had that gap up open that initial pullback we needed this candle to really start following through pushing higher to show us that there was an opportunity to really be buying and moving into stocks. So be a little bit careful here today because we have the same setup this morning. And we'll have to see um, what what transpires here. One thing um, I will point out is that the Dow did a really good job of holding on to this support level in here. So we broke out to new record highs in the Dow, jumping in with the other indexes, uh, trying to move higher. So keep that in mind. We're looking pretty good. And I think as long as we hold this area as support, we're in good shape here in the market. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY. Continuing to stretch up, We one thing that bothers me is that we're not moving up smoothly. We're moving up in leaps, we're, we're hopping up, gapping, and then we're going kind of nowhere on those days. So we have big gap openings um, being left behind in the market. That always bothers me. And then we're uh, gapping higher yet again this morning on this extreme bullishness that's going on. So we're popping up here even higher this morning and uh, leaving behind up here uh, kind of, a, well, uh, an indecisive um, day, wouldn't you say? We, we gap up and pull back um, on the intraday. You can see that we never had a follow through throughout the entire trading day yesterday. Gap up in the morning and no follow through whatsoever on the SPY. So providing just a little bit of concern and then gapping up once again this morning. Um, uh, could we do exactly the same thing? I don't know. One thing I want to point out 
is just how far we are away from our 50-day moving average. I pointed that out yesterday, and that's just um, being stretched even further today. So keep that in mind. We, we are a long ways up here, and a rest consolidation uh, or pullback um, seems likely in the very near future there will be some profit taking. I don't know when it'll start, and I don't want to try to predict when it will start, but we want to be a little bit cautious chasing into the market um, until we see some actual follow through on the intraday. Let's take a look at the queues. Queues doing exactly the same thing. Gapping higher, continuing to push. We had a, a, a pop and drop pattern that happened in the queues, but the queues right at the end of the day caught a pretty pretty nice rally, holding up just a little bit better. So we cut this nice rally in here, holding up a little bit better than the other indexes. But then that leaves behind this pattern up here that no one likes to see at a market top after gapping away. And that is a potential hanging man pattern. Now that hanging man pattern doesn't really mean anything if we get follow through. And we are getting that follow through this morning. Notice we're gapping higher this morning. So we'll have to watch this pretty closely if that were happen, would happen to produce a pop and drop type uh, situation, bears coming in after that, or just profit taking really coming in. We don't want to see any kind of a bearish um, engulfing candle showing itself here by this hanging man pattern. That could signal a little bit uh, lower move in the market. Also, please keep in mind that we are very, very stretched away from that 50-day moving average again. IWM, IWM also doing the pop and drop yesterday, gapping up, pulling back. But the good news here in IWM is that we have, at least for once, broke through this downtrend, held it as support right in here and moving higher. So I think we're in better shape than we have been in a long time here in IWM. Let's see if that can um, put together a nice little resting pattern or something in here that can give us an opportunity in that chart. And right now we've broken through this resistance here. I also think that's pretty key. Breaking through that resistance, any rest or pullback that holds in there would be bullish for the market. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX, kind of interesting yesterday, um, the VIX actually moved higher. So while the market was being pretty bullish, we had a VIX moving up as if fear might be starting to creep in just a little bit. But now this morning we're getting another gap up open. So I would expect that VIX to continue this move down trying to test this level right in here. I suspect we're gonna get there um, sometime this week, maybe even today, um, dropping down as fear continues to um, run away from the market. There's just no fear in the market whatsoever, no matter what we do here. Uh, the bulls seem to have total control of the market and there's just no fear here at all. So let's watch this. Now, one thing I keep mentioning is once we get down in there, we do have to start worrying about a little bit of complacency and um, gapping, gapping, and gapping, and gapping uh, means that complacency could reverse really quickly if we start to see a little bit of profit taking. So just watch that close. There's no reason to believe that we're going to fail, but we should watch that pretty closely. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122 is the four-week new high, new low ratio. Now yesterday, right after the gap up open, we kind of pushed right up in here um, in that gap up open. But as the day went on and we just kind of slid sideways and, and um, stocks kind of trickled back down, we ended up our day right down here in this area. So what that means is we still have room for this upside move. We're going to be pushing up pretty hard this morning. Right now, Dow futures are showing more than a 75 point um, uh, gain in uh, at the open and we could be pushing right back up in here into these upper levels which tells us that we might be reaching an end to this move just simply because we're a bit overbought but one thing I want to point out is we have seen in the past 
uh, a period of time where we just kind of lingered up there. We ran up and we just kind of lingered up there and continued to bounce around in that upper area. And that could possibly occur over here as well. So just because we're up here doesn't necessarily mean we're going to see one of those big swinging uh, pullbacks. But we should be watchful of some profit taking beginning to come in at any time. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar um, has a couple things that we want to pay attention to today. I don't know with all of the bullishness right now and the high hopes of a trade deal that they're really going to be that impactful of the market, but we do want to pay attention. And that would be international trading goods. They're expecting international trading goods to show a, uh, a decline. Um, but I, again, I'm not real sure it's going to overwhelm uh, the market much uh, this morning. We'll have to watch. If it's a big surprise, of course, that would certainly cause a problem. We do have ISM non-manufacturing and the um, job openings report but i don't expect those to really do much um, uh, damage to this market we're relentlessly bullish right now there seems to be nothing standing in the way of the bulls they just want to push and push and push so these would have to be pretty big surprise numbers i think to really do much of anything else also keep in mind we have that parade of fed speakers out here they're just all over the um, calendar this week so we've got fed speakers all over the place but i doubt that we'll learn much more from them um, if we do happen to hear something new the market will likely react to that on the earnings calendar we have a massive day of earnings this morning um, with uh, more than uh, let's see uh, about 360 companies reporting earnings today and uh, those numbers are coming in pretty fast and furiously uh, this morning so we'll want to watch that pretty close as they continue to roll in this morning that could certainly affect our overall market here uh, pretty substantially as we drive toward the open and then remember that in that uh, international trade number at 8 30 a.m. as well so with that let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up a few stocks that might be of interest for you but before we do that if you guys could do me a favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos could you please click that subscribe button on youtube click the follow me button on facebook if you happen to watch it there and also if you feel that the video is worthy if if you got something out of this video please click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment it helps um it helps in uh, the algorithm showing these videos to more folks and helps us continue to grow and you guys I, I just got to tell you the comments that you leave behind some of you guys just really overwhelm me with your kindness um, in these comments uh, thank you very, very very much you guys are awesome I truly truly appreciate it so let's take a look at a few stocks that might be setting up and uh, i'm going to start out with uh, lrcx take a look at lrcx lrcx has been moving up in this nice little trend you can see moving up nicely here now we gapped up huge huge on um, earnings report but what i'm watching right in here is this little consolidating move that we're starting to put in little resting pattern that we're putting into this trade. So as we continue to rest in here um, and slide over toward um, its trend, I want to be watchful of this for that potential next move out if it can pop and move on higher. What I what I think is probably occurring here is we're just resting um, in this move and it could be one of those situations where institutions are actually trying to pick this up um, and holding it in a range but i do know this is a rather expensive stock and i've had i had someone comment um, yesterday about uh, the only stocks i i show are rather expensive stocks well, when the market has been going up this long, we're in the longest bull market in history, and we're breaking new highs, 
a lot of the good stocks are going to be expensive stocks and that's all there is to it and and it really is because um, we've just been running and running and running and running to the upside there are some small cap stocks out there but I got to tell you so many of those stocks are not um, not doing very well or in very good patterns just simply because the small caps have not been supported um, for this entire year um, in the market. Um, how about we take a look at a stock like STX? Now, STX is a lower price stock in that $58 region. And you can see STX has had a really nice move up. And I've been kind of keeping an eye on this trend here. And this almost a belt hold type pattern here in this candle. Um, pushing this up and you can see trying to get some follow through yesterday so if we look right in here we have a little price support now it's entirely possible this could continue to consolidate over here but I want to watch this level in here pretty closely in case we get that nice bullish push to pop us out here on STX interesting chart and that uh, belt hold type candle um, where we rejected the low is pretty interesting to me so I um, want to watch that closely hey guys I want to remind everyone that every time I post a chart or talk about a chart in this video that they are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security this is part of the education that I do and if you find something here that you evaluate and decide that's the right trade um, that is totally your decision I'm not recommending any of these stocks um, so please keep that in mind as you look through put these on a watch list evaluate them make sure they fit you personally and then um, make those decisions um, as you see fit. Take a look at um, GME, GameStop. GameStop has been kind of interesting here. Now we we had some problems obviously in this in this chart. We we came up here, broke through this resistance, and then we failed and broke back down. Now one of the rules that I trade by is if we fail support, the stock must recover that support and then prove to hold it as support. I'm going to wait for that buy signal in that trade. So if that were to occur here, GameStop still has an interest to me, and it's really because we we have this open gap up here. If GameStop can recover in here and then start moving higher, we've got that open gap to maybe fill, and I would watch that chart pretty closely. One that I would have on my list just paying attention to um, overall so looking pretty decent and um, may have some opportunity take a look at John Deere now John Deere another gap and go yesterday this thing is really stretched out but one of the reasons I think this is important in the chart is because we have this massive multi-year breakout here that we held as support above this area and now we're moving on higher so what i would do is i would not chase this move in john deere but any rest consolidation or pullback may provide an opportunity to enter john deere um, it's looking very very strong overall yesterday i mentioned baba and several folks in RWO reported good profits on BABA yesterday, but then BABA pulled back, <clears throat> kind of whipping up and down here just a little bit. But one thing I want to pull this back in and um, make you guys aware of this, that BABA is trying to deal with some significant levels of resistance in here, but it's doing it successfully at this point. So we're rising up in this rally, dealing with that price resistance. And it looks like this morning, even though we had that pullback, BABA is once again gapping a little bit higher this morning. So if this can rest up in here, we move up into this area, kind of rest up in here, then there may be some more upside here in BABA to pay attention to. Kind of an interesting chart and um, one that you want to pay attention closely to. Still watching this JB Hunt. JB Hunt, beautiful little chart. Moving up, breaking out, following through now. Yesterday got a little tiny pullback um, in this move. I wouldn't be all that surprised to see JB Hunt rest a little bit more up here, but 
still showing nice bullishness trying to push on through looking really really good so there's a few charts for you to look at uh, to add to your list if um, you have any interest in any of these remember to make sure and do a good evaluation make sure you know the risk of every single trade that you take and plan all of your trades carefully so with that everyone I want to wish you all a fantastic day I want to wish you great profits in your trading everyone take care we'll see you bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a good one.